remember when she came out of surgery and they told us that she was stable and they were going to put her in the intensive care unit because of the amount of blood that she had lost. That's wrong. They did not put her in the intensive care unit because of the amount of blood that she lost. Both of the doctors testified as why did they put her in her. I'm going to let this run. wanted to really monitor her closely. Now, she wants, uh, she, she, this, uh, that's Danelle. She wants us to believe that they wanted to keep her because they were so worried about her blood loss that they had to put her over in the ICU. And that's absolutely not correct. I would encourage anyone to go look at uh, Alexander Santos and uh, Dr. Dillon's, Dillon's uh, testimony. The reason that they left her there in the ICU unit is because of the extenuating circumstances of her being attacked. They wanted her to rest. They wanted her to keep... It wasn't about blood loss that they put them over there. And both doctors clearly stated that. So here she's trying to tell us that she needed to be watched because she lost so much blood, and that's absolutely incorrect. J j go look at the testimony. I'll, I mean, I could put it here, but it's, it's clear. They would have just sewed her up and sent her home. Both of them said that if it wasn't for the attack. Now, I'll play this again for those in the back that didn't hear this. This is a lie. I remember when she came out of surgery and they told us that she was stable and they were going to put her in the intensive care unit because of the amount of blood that she had lost. They were going to put her in intensive care because of the amount of blood they lost. No. They put her in an intensive care unit because there were so many cops and stuff around and there was an extra room over there. She was never an ICU patient. Both of those doctors, again, they said they would have sewed her up and sent her home if it wasn't for all the attention that was drawn to it. They just wanted her to rest because of her mental state of what happened to her, not because of blood loss. That's a damn lie. They wanted to really monitor her closely and it was the safest place for her. We were at Darley's side, and she was a little bit groggy from just having the surgery. And Danelle says that she that they that she's a little bit groggy from just having the surgery. But when you listen to Doctor Santos and Doctor Dillon, uh, that they were gonna that they went back to check on her while she was in the ICU, and Santos, he he, he he's talking to her. He says there's family members there. She's talking, and he said he didn't recognize her as groggy and that the effects of the anesthesia have worn off. That was his opinion. And she wanted to touch the voice picture and just cry and cry. And she now she's in a room full of family and they brought the picture to her and she let's say she, she, she knows she did this. What would she do with the picture? Say, no, get that away from me. No, she would, she would do what she... They say and she did did right here crying. She was asking why God, why my boys, why my boys, 